about there's a lot of talk now about ACL um, uh, prevention programs, uh, things that young athletes uh, can do to teach them how to run and jump correctly. What, what are your thoughts on those programs, and have you been uh, trying to introduce those into some of the athletes that you take care of? Well, we do that, but there's one of the problems. The main, the main jump program was trying to prevent ACL injuries in females when they come down from a jump. Mm-hmm. And the ones who are at risk are those who have femoral aversion, uh, where their hips twist in too much. When they were youngsters, they may have towed in, but you can tell when they walk that, uh, that when their foot lands straight ahead, their, knees, you know, their knee starts pointing to the other way. And when they jump up in the air and they come down, then their kneecaps are, are almost pointing at each other. Now, those patients, you know, their problem is, is that they overpronate and they have too much external rotation. And so that when they land a little off balance, they overpronate their foot, okay, they're, they go into external rotation, uh, their pelvis gets behind, gets, rotates too far behind them, and their center of gravity is behind their knee, Mm -hmm. and then they fire their quadriceps, and they tear their ACL. And you've all, you've, I'm sure, seen these slow motion videos. They look like they completely tear their MCL. They have so much valgus. Yet these athletes, when they tear their ACL, rarely ever get more than a first or secondary MCL. And you say, wait a minute, I saw that tape, and they blew out their whole knee. They should have torn everything on the inside and their ACL, but they don't. And if you put a one-eighth inch medial heel wedge or orthotic and, and significantly limit the amount of pronation, then they can't actually rotate and get their, their, uh, their weight behind their leg. And I think you've got to combine the orthotic with those patients who have femoral aversion, which are by far probably 90% of all the girls I see who tear their ACL in soccer and basketball and volleyball all have significant femoral aversion and excessive uh, physiologic uh, external rotation of the tibia. And I think, by, I think we can help prevent these by putting orthotics in their shoes. And I know both my daughters were scholarship soccer players from the University of Virginia, and they averaged three to four ACLs a year, and my daughters were there for a total of eight years. And both my daughters have horrendous femoral aversion, but they all wore orthotics. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, they never injured any of their knees. Other things, yes, but not their knees.